today on Creationism. We will demonstrate a rocket stove made of tin cans. This rocket stove was made of a large tin can and three smaller cans. The three small cans were brazed together, then they were brazed to the larger can. I filled the space between with a mixture of ash and sand. At the top, I cut the smaller can and folded it down, and cut strips in the larger can and folded them down as well, to create places to sit pots and pans and allow air to flow. I used a coat hanger as a handle and attached it by drilling a hole in each side and hooking it in. I usually get started by collecting these three materials. My backyard is full of combustible materials that are perfect for a rocket stove. I begin by cutting dry grass and breaking off small twigs and limbs. Make sure to break off any pieces that stick out of the limbs so that they can be inserted into the rocket stove more easily. Ignite the dry leaves and insert them into the base of the rocket stove. Then I put more dry materials in through the top. I feel that it is important to get a good fire going inside before inserting the twigs and limbs. Sometimes you have to put in more materials through the top in order to keep it hot enough to ignite the twigs. Then I insert a separator to separate the twigs and allow air to flow in under the twigs. This separating piece is created from a fourth can that has been flattened and cut into strips. These strips are attached by cutting small slits in one of the pieces and a small ellipse in the other. They will be inserted and folded over. Then I cut two small grooves in each side in order to clear the front of the rocket stove. The twigs are inserted on top of the separator. I allow it to burn for a few minutes in order to build up heat so the cooking time goes fairly quickly. Once the stove is burning well, you will see the twigs burning inside. Make sure that no burned materials are blocking the airflow under the twigs. The larger materials you use, the hotter it will burn. And of course, hardwood burns longer. You can adjust the separator to keep airflow going. You'll need to keep pushing the twigs in order to keep them burning. Once your flames have built up, you may begin cooking on your stove. I can generally boil three to four inches of water within just a few minutes. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.